guys hello excellent life gang guys let's take a minute to appreciate this black girl magic brown skin girl your skin just like pearls guys before i get into the subject of today i would like to set out time to remind you guys to rest yes i do believe rest is very important because it gets you to places where hustle wouldn't i say this because in the beginning of the year or with the beginning of the year a lot of us have a series of goals that we would like to accomplish by the end of the year please take some time to rest mentally by not overworking yourself by taking time to read a book or watch a disney movie or an anime like me or spiritually spend time with god spend time with nature i do believe that speaking to plants is speaking to god yes yeah, spend time with nature spend time doing things that you you like Physically, please get in some exercise, yeah, three days a week is okay, go at your pace, but please get no time to rest because if you don't, you will burn out. And emotionally, please do not surround yourself with toxic people, people that take from you, energy vampires, please try to stay away from them because it's very important, like, with, if you don't set out that time for you, you will experience burnout which leads me to my subject of today establishing boundaries i feel i want to talk about this because i realize many people have a hard time setting boundaries or reinforcing them or even like they feel guilty or receive judgment because they set boundaries please boundaries are important because if you don't have boundaries you'll not be able to rest in addition, if you don't have boundaries, the most important, you won't be able, I believe that boundaries enable you to love other people from a healthy space. Because if any, everybody and anybody is taking from you, you'll be pouring from an empty cup and instead you're to pour from your overflow. You're not supposed to pour from a cup, your cup. You're supposed to give out your overflow. So if you don't have boundaries set in place, everybody will just come and take from you and at the end of the day you realize that you're exhausted and you're bitter or you're having some resentment towards people so the first boundary i'd like to talk about is no thank you like for example i'm all about wellness i don't drink so sometimes i go out for events and i'm offered alcohol or even gaseous drinks i just say no thank you but if you are somebody who has a hard time saying no you can still go ahead and explain why you're declining a service or an activity i know that some people who don't like like feel bad in saying no they have some um they feel upset when they say no so they have they tend to over involve themselves in activities that depletes them so you can explain why and say oh no thank you i don't drink yeah you can just say that and that's okay no is a boundary some people just feel like saying no is enough it's also enough, but if you're the kind of person who feels bad saying say no, you can go ahead and explain why. In addition, please, it's not every event that you have to go to. If an event is not adding anything into your life, you have the right to um, decline an invite. For example, over the weekend, not that I wasn't adding anything to my life. Cyril, I love you. Please keep on inviting me. I will come. Seriously, I will come. So over the weekend, my friend invited me for an Afro pop show. Like I had dedicated my weekend to spending it catching up on entertaining entertainment. Sorry, watching anime and watching my TV shows. So he invited me for um, an Afro pop event, and I said, "Oh, thank you for inviting me, but I declined the invite because this is how I spend to I plan to spend my weekend." Yeah. The other boundary revolves around helping people. I know we have grown up to be taught that we need to always be helpful. And please, when I have kids, I would like sharing and being helpful are things that, yes, we were, we were taught that, oh, when you share or you help people, you're a good person. And there's this good, good person mentality. I don't like calling it a good person mentality. I prefer to call it a nice person pers uh, mentality where everybody is trying to be nice. Please, there's a difference between kindness and nice. Kindness is when um, you are compassionate, you love people. Nice is just you acting out because you want to be polite. I'm talking about nice. Yeah, so this boundary revolves around helping. Please, if um, somebody asks for help and you really want to help them, you can say, oh, I really love to help you, but this is not a conducive time for me to help you. That's okay as a boundary. 
in addition, if you don't feel like helping, there are times when I'm doing nothing and I do not feel as helping, then you can say, oh, I wouldn't be able to help you with this. Sorry, I wouldn't be able to help you with this. That's a boundary. And I don't think you have to feel guilty for setting a boundary. Please put yourself first. Put yourself first. In, I remember I said you need to pour from your overflow and not um, empty your cup, not from inside your cup, from your overflow in overflow you know when you pour water into a glass what when you fill the brim of the glass what comes out that's what you're supposed to give people and not take from your glass you not exhaust yourself in addition there's this culture where people are saying oh your partner is supposed to have access to your phone your emails no i do not support such, such an attitude while you are in a relationship with somebody be it boyfriend -ship, um fiance -ship, Husbandship, you still remain an individual and you're entitled to your privacy. So, yes, what you can do is tell your partner that um, this is my privacy and I do not feel like sharing my passwords with you. That's a boundary. And I think they are they, not, I think they are supposed to accept that you people are not merged into one person. Yes, you are committed to your relationship or maybe to your marriage and to have children and raise them in a spiritual well balanced way which is that which is my goal but still i remain an individual i have my own friends i have my own life in that marriage so it's okay to say oh this is my this is my privacy and i don't want to share my password with you that's a boundary in addition like there are certain topics another boundary relates to topics that you're not comfortable discussing so people have a hard time discussing religion politics without getting sentimental so if that's something for you, you can say, oh, this topic is out of bounds and I wouldn't like to discuss it. Or you can say, for example, I've been in situations where people have um, asked me stuff about my private life and we don't have that type of relationship. And I've had to tell them, oh, this is very private for me. I do not feel comfortable having this conversation with you because we are not in that level. We don't have that relationship. It is okay. Yeah. And the next boundary, please, you, okay, for example, this is with partners especially, like boyfriends, girlfriends, this is it, this is it, like one of my goals is that um, I wouldn't want to be in a relationship, even friendship wise, with anybody who, when we disagree, curses at me, um, physically abuses me, uh, verbally abuses me, I wouldn't be having a conversation with such a person. This is a boundary that I have set for myself, especially anybody that can disagree with me in a healthy space, you, because you can disagree and still respect each other and want to go to a disrespectful level. I wouldn't, I, I decide, I tell you before, I will remove myself from such a conversation. So when it happens, I remove myself from such a conversation. Please, I'm not saying you should give people the silent treatment. Please, the silent treatment for me is psychological warfare. And you know in the Excellent Life Gang, we do not do abuse. It is psychological warfare. It is abusive and it is intentionally manipulating somebody's emotions. Because when you give them the silent treatment, they feel guilty and stuff. No, it's very abusive. That's not what I'm telling you to do. I'm telling you to remove yourself um, from such a conversation how do you do that once you've established the boundary you tell the person that i will not continue with this conversation if this happens the person has a choice now to decide how they want to interact with you if the person persists to in, um, physically verbally abuse you curse at you please remove yourself from that converse, conversation by removing yourself, you're honoring your boundary and yourself, and you're also honoring the decision that the person made, because it's a choice to have the, the consequences, because you gave the person a choice, the person wanted, decided to um, overstep the boundary, so you have to respect yourself. Please, we are here to raise healthy ki kids and kids who know how to disagree with people in a healthy manner, in a safe space. It's not because you're angry or you disagree with somebody that you have to go and verbally or physically abuse them or curse them out. No, not everybody has the same opinion as you or sees the same way with you or was raised in the same way with you and you have to give them space, be compassionate enough to disagree with them in a healthy way and not make them feel bad for having the opinions they have. However, once you have stated that, 
and somebody persists in cursing you out, physically abusing you, or even verbally abusing you. By physical abuse, what I mean is, for example, we are in a heated argument and I want to have my space, I want to walk away, and somebody blocks the door. That's physical abuse for me because you're, you don't know what you're pushing me to do. So I wouldn't entertain such a, a conversation. Plus, that's an attack. Seriously, that's an attack. I wouldn't because you preventing me from, from leaving the space where we are, it's an attack because you don't know how I can react to you. You're attacking my space. So I have the right to remove myself from such a conversation and also honor my boundary and also honor your choice or the decision you took to have the consequences. In addition, yeah, that, in addition, all what I want to say is that please maintain your boundaries because if you don't respect your boundaries, you're setting the bar for people to how to treat you. Because if you say, oh, this is a boundary, for, for, for example, me, I, if I don't accept people physically abusing me or verbally abusing me, and I've stated a boundary, and somebody does that to me, and I do not remove myself from that um, conversation, I'm telling them that, oh, you can physically abuse me, you can, you can verbally abuse me, and I'm okay with it. Boundaries are very, are very important for each and every one of us to uphold them especially with ourselves it's not even about the other person it's ourselves because it sets the standard of how we want and we will accept to be treated what we will not tolerate so guys go ahead set your boundaries don't feel guilty boundaries enable you to love people from a safe distance in a, from a healthy space even with your children set boundaries with your spouses with your friends set boundaries the most important you person is you in this case so love you guys. Have a nice day. Spread positive energy. Bisous, bisous.